guys, welcome back. It is Carrie with Godly Gamers, where the game may change, but Christ's presence remains, where we keep God first and everything comes after. So with that being said, let's start things off with a word of prayer. Let's go before the throne of grace. Heavenly Father, Father God, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for another opportunity to record another video and to start a new video series. I pray and ask that by your grace that you have your way in this video, that your presence saturate this atmosphere and that you do what only you can do so that those who enter this atmosphere will may experience your rest and that you will enter their atmosphere God and so that they may experience your rest your joy your all-sufficient grace your peace that surpasses all understanding your joy that gives us strength and everything else that you have to offer God thank you so much for your mercies and your love your abundance of love and ask that you have your way and do what only you can do in this video I bless and praise your name for it all God thank you so much Holy Spirit in Jesus name amen and amen Amen, guys. Welcome back. This is Nancy Drew Secrets Can Kill Remastered. And this is actually the first time I have played this game. I love Nancy Drew games, but I decided that I would document my gameplay of this game for the first time. So I'm praying and hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you so much for watching. I will have this without the commentary so you all can just enjoy the game in and of itself. So Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and to turn on the post notification bell so you will be up notified, excuse me, so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. And don't forget that I love you guys, but Jesus loves you best. Enjoy the video. Dear Dad, who would have dreamed taking a vacation to visit Aunt Eloise in Florida would result in another case? Seems a student named Jake Rogers was murdered at the high school last week. And an undercover police detective wants me to pose as a student to search for any leads at the school. So it's undercover I go. I'm calling this case Secrets Can Kill. Love, Nancy. Thank you. 
something to make this work. Nancy Drew, Detective Beach here. How are you? Good, and yourself? Frustrated, Nancy. I need some leads, and you're my man. Uh, well, woman, teen, student, whatever. I'll be at Maxine's diner. Come see me when you've found out anything. All contact should be through me. Can do. So what's our cover? Our what? Um, our cover. Who should I say you are if anyone sees us and asks? Oh, right. Uh, I'll be your uncle. Uncle Steve. I gotta go now. If you need anything else, come see me at Maxine's. I'm wearing glasses and a green striped shirt. Uncle Steve! Nancy! Why, I haven't seen you since... Uh... uh for a long time! <laughs> How's your... Aunt! Aunt Eloise! Oh, she's fine. And Dad says hello. You're staying with your aunt, right? Yes. So, uh, what do you got for me? Well, I was hoping you could debrief me on the investigation. Oh, sure, sure, sure. I'm just a bit... Well, my undercover assignments are usually not so... Uh, suburban. I understand. The victim was a senior named Jake Rogers. As usual, none of the family, teachers, or students know about any enemies he may have had. Nothing came up from searching his home, computer, cell phone, or locker. His bank records tell a different story. He had a fairly large savings account and a lot of cash deposits. We suspect he was involved in something shady. Drugs, gambling, or blackmail. That's where you fit in. Talk to the students and see what you can find out. We think he might have kept information about his activities in a notebook or journal, so keep a lookout for anything like that. Anything else? Goodbye. Goodbye, Nancy. I'm out of cash. Welcome to Maxine's. I'm Daryl Gray. I don't think I've seen you here before. My name's Nancy Drew. I just moved down here. Then you'll be attending Paseo Del Mar High. I'm your student council president. If there's anything you need, just let me know. Thanks. I might just take you up on that offer. So... what can I do for you? Tell me about Paseo Del Mar High. It's a great school. Good teachers, nice students, lots of after-school activities. It's just too bad what happened. What happened? One of the students was murdered in the school last week. What happened? Someone beat up this guy, Jake Rogers, and then threw him down a flight of stairs. He worked here, but I didn't really know him. He kept mainly to himself. Who did it? No one knows, and the police are keeping pretty clammed up about it. But my resources say they're calling in some special detective, maybe even the FBI. Did this Jake guy have any enemies? Sure, doesn't everyone? I should get back to work. Nice meeting you, Nancy. Talk to you later. Bye, Nancy.
Whoa, a new girl at school. Do you realize what destiny has brought you today? Yours truly, Hector Sanchez. But you can just call me The Hulk. The Hulk? You are new around here. I play for the Manatees, one of the best teams in the state. I leave the others in the dirt, man. Soon it's college ball, and then the pros. Showtime. College ball? Yeah, I'm playing great football this year. I'm expecting an offer from a Big Ten school any day now. A Big Ten school? What will you major in? Football! I'm destined to become a college star and then turn pro. Then, when I'm famous, jerks like Jake Rogers will eat my socks for breakfast. Does Jake Rogers' death concern you? Why should it? I have a big future ahead of me. That's all that concerns me. Sorry, can't talk now. I gotta go to practice. Later. Hi, my name's Nancy Drew. What's your name? Hal Tanaka. Actually, my first name is much longer than that. But I want to fit in here in America, so I chose Hal as my nickname. I'm a Japanese exchange student. Why do you think it's easier to have an American name? I want to be part of the culture and succeed in this country. So, what's been going on at school lately? A murder was committed here. Everyone is very stressed out. Are you stressed out? I'm studying really hard for exams now. My future as a doctor depends on the outcome of these tests. Also, I think the murder has caused a lot of tension at school. Wow. Well, who was murdered? Jake Rogers, a student here at Paseo Del Mar High. It's really intense. Did you know him? Not really. Only by reputation. What reputation? I feel uncomfortable speaking about this now. Please excuse me. Connie, you're not from around here, are you? Usually, Paseo del Mar High is really quiet and boring. Lately, it's been totally out of control. Out of control? 
One of the students was killed last week. What happened? I think he was pushed down a flight of stairs or something. What makes you think he was pushed and didn't just fall? I heard his face was all messed up, like he was in a fight. He was always getting into fights. What kind of guy was Jake? Jake Rogers was a total creep. Nobody liked him. I gotta go now. Later. The teacher's lounge is off limits. But I have a key. Off limits for you. But I have a key. Hi, Nancy. How can I get into the teacher's lounge? Look, Nancy, maybe this assignment isn't for you. I can't be holding your hand all the time. Your job is to come to me with solutions, not problems. I found a notepad in the library that seems like a message from Jake. Really? Tell me more. It says, things to remember me, and seems to give clues about the answer to my fate lies in a box. This is the best lead we've had. I think it could break the case. Follow whatever directions he gave to find this box. His journal could be in there. Excellent work, Nancy Drew. But remember, you need to keep a low profile and be careful. Bye-bye. See you later. <laughs>